Hey there, my lovely, lovely Libras, Crest Watchers, and Channel fans. It is Lori, and I am here to do your daily reading for you. Let's go ahead and invite in some uh, positive energy. All right. And let's roll the Zodiac die to see what signs you might be dealing with. You rolled strong Gemini and Pisces here, Aquarius, Cancer, Aries, and Taurus. Very strong Gemini. Very strong energies there. All right, let's go ahead and see what your message is for today. Look at that. Ten of Cups, your overall energy. Beautiful. You know what? I think we should do a Celtic Cross. What do you think? I think we should do a Celtic Cross. All right, I got my uh, little sheet here. So, the heart of the matter, Ten of Cups, okay? Let's see what any challenges or obstacles might be coming in for you. Five of Cups, regrets. Okay, let's go ahead and see what um, you're aspiring to accomplish. I'm actually just going to lay this out differently. We'll just follow the Celtic Cross um, meaning, okay? Let's see what the uh, foundation or the root or base of the problem, okay? What's causing this Five of Cups? Page of Wands, okay. Let's see what your Im immediate future holds for you. This card did not want to go back. Seven of Pentacles, speculation. All right, let's see what your past influences are here. Three of Swords. Okay, that makes sense. Let's see how, how you're feeling about yourself. What's going on within you? Your emotions, your feelings. Ooh, ooh, not good. Oh, that can be good. A death card can represent that you want something to end, that you're transforming, and you want to come out of this in a better place than where you're at now. All right, let's see what's going on in your environment. What's happening around you? Let's see what's happening around you. The Hierophant. Hmm. Things being done the right way, or it could be about a marriage. Let's see what your hopes and fears are. Two of Wands. Okay, so indecisive. <laughs> your hopes and your fears are both. That makes perfect sense. Okay, Two of Wands. Okay, let's see what your probable outcome will be here with the energies that's on the table. Your energies will probably change as you view this message, so keep that in mind. But the probable outcome right here is justice. You standing up in your power. All right. We're going to put that right up there. You feeling like yourself, feeling whole, complete, and justified. Something may be being made right. So the heart of the matter is family, your happiness, your abundance, your joy, what is going on in your life, your relationships to yourself, to those around you. Um, it feels more personal than work-related, but of course it can have something to do with your purpose in life. So if you have a career and you're not feeling like you're on the right purpose, it could absolutely be pertaining to that. All right, what do these regrets stem from? What is going on here? Let's see what more spirit would like to tell us about these regrets. Five of Cups energy. Okay, these are your challenges or any obstacles that might be in your way. And regrets will hold you back. Regrets will stop you dead in the water. Okay, you will not move at all if you do not get out of these, this depression, anxiety, um, fear. You have to start... Uh, focusing on the positive. So let's see what Spirit's advice is here for you. I'm not getting anything out of this deck today. Whoop, there we go. The lovers. You've got to make healthier choices for yourself. And the first thing you can do, I'm hearing, is to move past this energy of feeling like you've lost it all. Okay, yes, it's fine to have a loss, honor those feelings, but if you're covering it up with alcohol or drugs or just not willing to see the truth, okay? You're putting a, a Band-Aid on a very serious subject here, 
okay? Very serious wound, and if you do not tend to that wound, it's going to fester for a long time. Spirit's advice is to look at it in a different manner. Heal thyself, physician, okay? Heal thyself. You have to be the one that decides. You're the only one who can decide if you're going to stay in this anxiety and this fear and this pain, okay? Pain, you, how you react to something is your choice. Acknowledge your pain. Admit that, yes, you have the right to feel the way you do, and then move on. Start moving towards healing. You're the only one who can heal you. You are the only one. All right, let's go ahead and see what advice Spirit has for you for the Queen of Wands, which is what you think about, what your aspirations are, what your dreams are. The Queen of Wands tells me that you have some beautiful ideas. You are charismatic. You are a go-getter. But you're not there right now. All right, so the Knight of Cups and the Seven of, of Swords. Yeah, you need to take care of yourself so that you can start strategizing something here. I'm getting with this Five of Cups that you've um, had a breakup, okay? Or a major argument with a family member or somebody of great importance to you. You're not on the same page. Spirit is telling you to get on the same page. And yes, I do feel for some of you you have had a physical loss like somebody has passed away i do um my heart is breaking for you if you are grieving please acknowledge that that's perfectly normal and you will get out of your grieving when you are meant to okay but again we can grieve much longer than is necessary if we do not focus on taking care of ourselves okay and having a plan for the future usually that's what um, keeps us stuck in our sadness, our depression, our anxiety, is we don't have a plan. Once we have a plan, n nothing can keep us back, okay? So you have to take care of yourself here is what I'm hearing. You have to nurture your dreams, your desires, what you want, but you have to have plans. You have to set intentions. You have to make goals. You have to have a strategy, okay? Beautiful, beautiful advice there from Spirit. All right, so what is the base cause of your problem here? This Page of Wands, I'm hearing um, a lack of knowledge, possibly um, hurtful words being said. Um, you're focused in the wrong direction. You're not, okay, what I'm hearing from this is you have to lift your head up, okay? You can't see things properly when you've got your head down and you're looking at everybody in this manner. Okay, and for some reason, again, this energy of a unicorn, a young unicorn, okay, with a broken unicorn, with the horn that's broken, and challenging everybody around them. You did this to me. Oh, I'm getting playing the victim here. You did that. No, no, nobody did anything to you. You didn't catch what was happening, and you either allowed it to continue by not standing up for yourself this this energy right here is very bad okay you need to get yourself out of this victim mentality if you are in it if you are not experiencing that everybody has done this to you or somebody has done this to you including spirit spirit did not do this to you okay whatever you're in spirit did not do it to you okay things happen and a lot of things happen to us because of the choices we've made all right, but this is not good energy. You, you can't blame everyone else for the, the situation that's going on. You cannot play the victim. All right, so that may be what the base of the problem is. Okay, let's get some clarification. What advice would Spirit give you about getting out of this victim uh, mentality, this energy of blame, of uh, feeling justified for feeling the way you do? Now, you can feel justified for the way you feel. Absolutely. But you have to move past it. You can't stay there forever. Okay? I feel like you're just trying to get get your feet back on the ground. So most of you don't normally stay in that um, victim mentality for very long. We all go there. We all go there every now and then. I feel like your emotions are really up and down over this situation. And you're just trying to find a way to balance everything out. It looks like you're going to focus on 
strategizing, planning what you want to keep, what you don't want to keep. So you're starting to recognize um, the situation for what it really is, okay? Accepting your portion of whatever is happening, okay? It takes to, to tango, and that's T-A-N-G-O. Tango is a dance. It's an awesome dance. I love to tango. Well, I used to. I don't think I could anymore. All right. Yeah, my goal <laughs> was to get back to ballroom dancing after my knee surgery. That hasn't happened yet. Not yet. All right, let's look at the immediate future here. Seven of Pentacles, where you are contemplating what you would like to do. Look at this. You can have absolute dreams come true, wishes fulfilled, internal, personal satisfaction. If that's what you decide you want, you've got it. Absolutely. Nine of Cups, clarifying that Seven of Pentacles. Beautiful. All right, let's see what the past influences are. We know you're heartbroken, you're upset about something. It is toxic. You've given way too much energy to this. Way too much energy. You are living in fear of either losing this person or job losing the job or whatever it is. There's a lot of fear. I mean, fear here. Stop that got the queen of wands you are your energy is the queen of wands there is something very unique about you about you not the other person okay about you trust your intuition the queen of wands trust her intuition she takes care of herself she's like the beauty queen okay and i don't care if you're male or female it's about taking care of yourself having self-respect Knowing that the more better she feels about herself, the more the world feels better about her. We're going to get more information here with this Three of Swords being clarified by the Devil Energy. Okay, so this is past energy. Look at this. Really difficult. I mean, my gosh, I don't know who you were dealing with. But if this is somebody that you can choose to not associate with, not talk to, free yourself from, that is spirit's advice to you. And it looks like you're going to do some planning here in the near future, okay? And the outcome will be good. So you've got the Nine of Pentacles with the Five of Swords and the Devil Energy all clarifying that Three of Swords. Spirit is saying to break free. You, have, you, have, you need to focus on you, okay? Look at this, Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands in your reading is your hopes and your fears. So you, you, you're looking at your past and you're looking at your future there. You're uncertain how to make do without this person, how to make do without this job. Guess what? If you break this toxic, negative, controlling energy that you are dealing with, if you get rid of that, there's nothing you can't do. You can literally accomplish anything as long as you've got a positive attitude and outlook. All right, you've got to take action though. This person had a, a, a choice to make. Okay, they could have three choice, two choices. They could have three. They could have sat back in their home, okay, and said, you know, I'm just going to let it go. I'm I'm in my comfort zone. All right, but it, something made this person get up and forced them to face this decision. And I am hearing it was spirit. Spirit caused this person to get up and say, you choose. Because if you don't, I'm going to send you a tower that's going to choose for you, okay? So here, this person has decided what they want, and now they feel like they have the whole world in front of them. The whole world is their oyster. They can open it up and, and find that pearl, okay? Do exactly what they want, and now you're getting the information that you need. Look at you go. You're researching. You're checking things out. How can you put an end to this? This There might be a legal contract here for some of you, such as a, um, a divorce or um, a business contract of some sort, a partnership. But it, I do feel for a lot of you, there is some sort of legality here um, or contract commitment that has to be broken. And some of you have to seek advice outside of the relationship to, like, a lawyer, okay? to dissolve it all right let's go ahead and see what the death energy is here that's how you are viewing yourself okay i hear you you're trying you're 
actively seeking ending something negative here. You want out, look at you, you want out of your head. You're full of fear and you are ready to put this burden down. You are ready to end this. Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords, clarifying the Death Card energy. Oh, and boom! Look at you close that cycle out. And I am going to leave that right there for you. I'm leaving, putting that right there. You deserve that. You deserve that, okay? This is how you see yourself. See how it went from wanting to put an end to things? You see yourself wanting to, to doing it. You shut the door. I told you during the reading, you get energy changes, energy shifts. So it tells me that you will successfully close this door. Oh my gosh. On the bottom of the deck is the sun card. Happiness, joy, everything's out in the open. There's nothing to fear anymore. Oh my goodness. Look at you go. Oh my goodness. You've got the world card, the sun card, and then the fool card with the emperor. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to make of this. I don't even know. You're about to hear something really important that is going to be a brand new fresh start for you. If this Queen of Wands, this is your energy in this particular reading, okay? If it's if it's you, oh my gosh, you are healing. You got fresh starts, new perspectives, new people coming in, new blessings. There, this is huge. This is the biggest Ace of Cups I've seen in a while for you guys. And you're about to hear something that you're going to have to take action on. You might have to decide something pretty quickly too. Because this Page of Swords is not a slow moving thing. This is back and forth. Rapid text, rapid phone calls, rapid conversations. Um, needing to move fast. We've got to do this, do this, do this. Okay? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you are ending this cycle and then starting off fresh, nothing, no baggage, nothing here. Taking control of your life over yourself, okay? Oh, celebrations, happiness, and joy with the three of cups on the bottom of the deck. All right, what is going on in your environment? We have the Hierophant here, okay? So things are being made right, things are being looked at. Um, there's elevation, there's education, there's commitment to the future. S oh my goodness. Standing up for what you believe in. Standing up for what you believe in. Good for you. Boundaries. Standing your ground. Not caving in. Not going back to any toxic behaviors. Whether they are in yourself or within your workplace or within your relationships. You are done with that. You have found who you are and you're standing up for what you believe in. I got to see what this card was. Ooh, the Two of Swords and the Four of Wands. See, you're so close. You, you're so close to getting that answer, to achieving your goal. All right, let's see what the Two of Wands is. Your hopes and your fears, okay? Let's see what your hopes are here. What more would you like to tell our lovely, lovely Libras about their hopes, Spirit? What more would you like to tell them? Don't forget to tickle, tap, or boop, B-O-O-P, that like button for me. And if you're interested in a personal reading, go ahead and email me. I'll send you prices and um, details on how it works and when I will be able to get to it, okay? All right. Your hopes. Look at this. Queen of Pentacles and the Star. Some of you, your hopes are just to be seen for who you are. For somebody to value you, to show you self-respect, or to show you the respect that you deserve. And I'm hearing you're finally getting your self-respect back. You're taking it back. You, you've got your boundaries. You know who you are again. You're putting limits to people doing bad things to you, okay? Yeah. Um, whoops, sorry, my phone flicked. I, I had to check something there. You want to heal. Some of you want to be stars. You want to be looked at and admired and um, respected, okay? You feel very vulnerable and you're okay with certain vulnerabilities, like putting yourself out in front of people. You're okay with that. Your dream is to possibly be on stage, lead people um, be in the public eye somehow, but to be seen as somebody valuable. 
that's your most thing, your most important dream, to be respected and treated with respect, to have hope for the future, to reach for the stars, knowing that you can reach for the stars and get them. Okay, and if you miss the stars, my saying is, if you miss the stars, if you're shooting for the stars and you miss the stars on the way back, grab that moon, okay? That's where your dreams, your desires, your everything lies. Everything lies in that moon, okay? And if you've got control of your moon, you've got control of everything. I don't know where that came about, but it came about the other day, and boy, it really fills me. It really makes me feel good. I hope it makes you feel good, too. All right, let's see what your fears are here. Let's see. Let's see. I do feel that it's the fear that nobody will ever see your worth. Okay? It could be the same. Let's see. All right, let's see. What's your biggest? King of Wands. Not to find the soulmate. Okay? Because you are the Queen of Wands. You want that person that is equal to you, that will respect you, that will treat you like an equal. Wow, that makes perfect sense. And look at this. It's absolutely about finding your soulmate. It is. And you feel like you. your fear is that you will not ever find somebody who will treat you with that respect. I got to tell you right here, you can see this for yourself. Spirit saying it's coming in. It's coming in. Something good is coming in for you. You're about to hear something absolutely fantastic something that you put the work in on you're about to be recognized all right so let's see we have you see this was your projected outcome you feeling like yourself balance whole like things are made right okay beautiful message here let's go ahead and get you some uh oracle messages i'm gonna put this over here I don't know what this message is that's coming in. It's going to be for, different for everybody. It could be about a soulmate coming in here for you. But I'm getting that this, this is separate. But you're about to get some sort of blessing. Some sort of decision is going to have to be made quickly. Yeah, you're going to have to make a judgment call pretty quick. All right, now it could be if, if you are married and you're looking for a divorce, it could come in all of a sudden, boom, it's done now. You may have been waiting two, three years <laughs> for this, boom, it's done. All right, so there is going to be a need for action pretty quickly after this judgment is made. So keep that in mind. All right, let's go ahead and get you some oracle messages here. She who... Yep, Elki, Shihu. Hi, in case I didn't say it, I sure hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having fun wherever you are in the world, whatever time of day or night it might be where you're at, whether the sun is shining, the stars are out, if it's raining or snowing. I hope you are happy and healthy. I'm just sending you a whole bunch of blessings, good energy vibes, and lots and lots of love and light. You got Carly, she who frees, liberation, unrestrained freedom. And I'm putting, being told to put that right there with that nine of pentacles. Because that's when you're about to gain yours. The message of this card is that you face a challenge that only you can answer. Will you re remain obedient to the chains that have been put upon you? Oh my gosh, we've got the devil with the chains. We've got the broken heart with the chains. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Spirit is talking to you. Or will you cast them aside to live the liberated life, the life of freedom? It's important to remember that sometimes we accept the bonds that are placed upon us. We always are the ones who choose to keep them there. They may be put by put, put there by somebody else. We have the choice to keep them there or remove them. What you may not understand is that you can change your mind about those chains at any time. It's completely up to you. And you are at a point right now where you can end anything that you feel is holding you back. It would be wise to examine those chains thoroughly. Okay, Who holds the other end? And who holds the key? I sure hope it's you that's holding that key. All right? You can ask yourself this question. What would real freedom feel like? Not look like. How would it feel 
to be free and not have to worry, not have to worry about this person, this situation or anything else like this. Again, don't worry about how it's going to come about. How would it feel to break free from this? That's what you need to ask yourself. Because as soon as you can feel it, it can come true. You can manifest it. All right. Keep that in mind. Our reality is formed by what we believe. All right. Let's go ahead and see what the Talisman Oracle message is today. Wisdom. And I'm also being told to take this one. Good luck. Beautiful. Look at this. Right on the nine of um, cups here. And you're gaining wisdom by taking care of yourself and having a plan. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's go ahead and see what wisdom has for you. I think this is funny. The power of the mind has no limits. We can decide if we want to keep those chains or not. Wisdom is not only about having all the information and the knowledge, but also about how we apply it to our situation so that it adds meaning or promotes the common good or helps us break free of the chains that we keep on ourselves. This card reminds you that it's time to live life in such a way that builds up your spirit. The octopus on this card is upside down, kind of like the hanged man energy here. And it invites you to look for alternative perspectives to broaden your vision. Sometimes all that takes is to distance yourself from the situation so that you can see it more clearly. What is better for you and everyone else that we love? Your third eye is awakened and focused on the scene. So don't be afraid to look from a different new viewpoint, okay? Find a different strategy. Find a different plan. See things differently. I mean, as soon as you see things differently, it, it becomes different. And I mean, try it with something as simple as your attitude towards people. If you feel like the world is full of negative, awful people, I challenge you to go out with an idea in your head that everyone you encounter is going to be wonderful today, okay? And see if that every single person you encounter isn't just about wonderful. All right, so, and if it's true for that, then it's true for everything, right? If it fits for that, then it fits for the rest. It's just the way it works. Good luck. Luck is with you and with every single thing that you're touching at this time. This is a very positive card that indicates growth and increased potential. The currents are in your favor, and if you act upon your wishes, you will benefit immensely. It's up to you to channel this good fortune, though. The circles on the card form the number eight. Eight is an auspicious number and a symbol of new beginnings. Fate will take a strong hand and redirect your path in a very positive way. What you do after that shift is completely up to you. So make a wise choice to break those chains and free yourself and move forward. There is beautiful things coming in. You will feel more like yourself, balanced and whole. Beautiful, beautiful. We're going to get you how oh, a soul coaching message looks like. I've got a hair tickling my right arm. Wow, that popped right out of there. So did that one. Okay, we've got the truth. You live your truth. You're facing yourself in the mirror. You're acknowledging, you're being wise and smart and acknowledging that you are the one in control of your future. Okay? You can break the chains. It's up to you. It's completely up to you. And then you've also got embracing. You embrace and love all of your life. Look at this. This is Two of Cups energy. Lover's energy. Look at that. Okay, so we've got embracing and truth. You're embracing the truth. Absolutely. Let's start. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I just, this is amazing. I love this message for you guys. All right. The card meaning is 
Embrace all of your life, both the dark and the light, the good and the bad. Dance with your shadow and reclaim the parts of yourself that you've denied. You don't want to admit those ugly truths about yourself or what you've accepted in your past. Embrace your past and what has been hidden or denied. Your soul wants you to know that the path to wholeness is through accepting and embracing all parts of yourself, not just the good. Every experience that you've had, even the ones that you thought were bad or know were bad, were important for your spiritual journey. What you deny in yourself will fester and it will control your future. It will control your here and now. Embrace your darkness because you need every aspect of yourself in order to attain wholeness. You cannot, I mean, everything in the world, the universe is duality. So do not suppress your anger, bitterness, fear, hurt, pain, sadness, whatever it is. Do not suppress it, okay? Because if you tamp it down and you keep it bottled up, it's only going to grow in the deep recesses of your being and fester like a wound that just is infected. Oh, disgusting, awful, horrible. Nothing good ever comes of that. So bring those feelings into the light. Sit with them, embrace them, understand why you feel the way and tell yourself, I have a right to feel this way, but I'm not going to stay here. I'm not going to stay in this sadness. I'm not going to stay in this anger. I have a right to be happy and I'm going to be. And that's what you have to do. Face and deal with those emotions and energies and then move forward. Be where you want to be. Once you see it in your head, you'll get there quick. The meaning of this card is to find your truth. Be honest with yourself and speak from your heart. Walk your talk and follow your inner guidance in everything. You are the truth. Listen for what is sincere and honest in yourself and in others. Your soul wants you to know that often the hardest thing about living our truth is to know what our truth is. There's a place inside of us that always knows what's true for us and what isn't. Sometimes it takes sincere silence and deep stillness to find that voice. But once we do discover it, we let go of everything else in our life that is not true to us. It doesn't feel authentic. It doesn't feel right. We let it go. Release. We can release relationships that do not empower us in situations in which we find ourselves less than honest because fear of being judged or not accepted is holding us back. Miracles follow us when we take the time to be genuine, true, and authentic. Absolutely love that message. Love, love, love that. And Spirit is saying to give you, where is it? A whispers of love message today. Whispers of love message. <clears throat> Haven't had one of these in a general reading in a while. All right, let's go ahead and see what's happening here. Romance, I told you, I think someone's coming in here for a few of you. Card 25, 7, something wonderful is about to happen for you. Lavish the one that you love with personal attention and affection. Okay, let's see what that message is. And you know what? I just heard lavish the one you love who should be yourself first. You love yourself first. When you get in this energy of loving yourself, taking care of yourself, you set out a vibration, a certain light, a certain aura, and you draw that in. So you have to get past what somebody else has, um, you've allowed somebody else to do to you. Let's see what 25 here says. Romance. Quality time is needed. Whether you are in or between relationships, do something special that adds romance to your life. If you are single, it is important to do something for you. Did I not say this was about your self-love, self-care? <clears throat> what do you consider romantic? Is it an intimate meal or flowers given or possibly received? If you are in a relationship, do something for your special person. If you are single, then go ahead and buy flowers for yourself. Take a candlelit bath or have a candlelit dinner yourself. 
or just pamper yourself with your favorite whatever, okay? Your favorite food, your favorite walk, your favorite movie, pamper yourself, okay? As you treat yourself, imagine how happy you feel, as if you are not just doing this for yourself, but for a special someone in your life, okay? In this card, we have a picturesque mermaid dancing with her partner. They only have eyes for each other. It is important to prioritize yourself and your relationship. Try to make romance a consistent, consistent practice in your life. It may not sound romantic to schedule dates with someone once or twice a month, but it will benefit you in more ways than you realize. Even if you are single, Make those romantic gestures for yourself once a month, once a week, once a day. I do it every day. I, I focus on this every single day for myself. What do I want to do that makes me feel like I'm in a good, healthy re relationship? So I, I'm not going to give you examples. I think you get it. All right, let's get you your three yes or no answers <clears throat> using the number die. If you are new here, 1 through 5 on the die is a no answer. 6 or 12 is a yes answer. Unless you want to reverse the roles, please feel free to do so, okay? Because we all have free will. And if you don't want to participate, that's absolutely okay too. All right, answer number 1, yes or no, is a 4. That is a no answer. I'm seeing 8, 2, 1, and 3. Answer number two, yes or no, is a nine. That is a yes answer. You also have 11, 5, 3, and 1. Answer number three, yes or no, is an eight. That is a yes answer. You also have on here two, four, one, six, and 10. And I will tell you, I read those out of order because I normally read eight and then I go across what's in the middle and then at the bottom. So there is some importance in the order of those numbers. Eight, two, one, no, eight, two, four, one, six, ten. If you need to repeat it, just rewind. Okay. Otherwise, that is a yes answer. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so already. We have an awesome community and we would love to have you join us. And don't forget, tickle tap or boop that like button. Claim this in the comments if it's your reading. I love you guys. Until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. I hope you have the most amazingly blessed day today.